Kuzco. Bringing sexy back on VFM 107.9 and we're playing this song because who's bringing the sexy back? I am. Okay. I am too. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> Justin Timberlake is bringing sexy back. Good morning, Clayton. How's it? Thank nice you. seeing you once again. Yeah, no, it's good to be home in P. Um, ah, yes, everyone knows P is my hometown, so mm -hmm. always when I can catch a break, an excuse to come and visit uh, and chill and at least I'm with Tatum this time around, which is so nice. And mm -hmm. yeah, oh, I'm loving home. The weather's amazing. Um, but, uh, you know, the wind still needs to get used to it. But I mean, hey, I'm from here, so I know what the wind's like now. But yeah, yeah. The good to be back. And I'm very the excited. City. Of course, of course. And Tatum knows that. So, um, she always enjoys coming back to me. Absolutely love Pete. Now, before we chat to uh, Tatum, tell me a bit more about her. You tell me more about her. About her? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the she's juicy stuff. Be the careful, the Jay. <laughs> 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 it goes both ways. No, no, there's not, there's not anything juicy to, to, to give out, except the fact that people do know that she's actually um, as beautiful inside as what she is on the outside. Oh, you're so <laughs> and, um, and she paid him to say that. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Um, the thing is, you know, people kind of have a perception of, of who are celebrities, and I'm sure uh, people that are listening now may have had a perception because she, you know, she was in Miss Universe, Miss World, and she was Miss Essay. Um, and you have a perception of what a model is, and I think once you get to know Tatum for she, for she is, there's a lot of more depth. Uh, that she has to offer and I mean she's very competitive, she's an intellectual, she's feisty, she's very business minded as well and um, she embodies Wow, I sound amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! And, and she's actually a very very great friend uh, at the same aspect, I mean people, you know, don't know those things about it, they just think you know, everyone's after fame and fortune and uh, you're on TV so you have to be a certain persona and she's very much like that. Yeah, she's very much like that. And you know, and I think that's what makes her so special because she's very much like that. She's not um, that sort of uh, cut and dry sort of perception of people might have. Okay, now coming back to you, what do you do? What I'm doing now is I'm a freelance journalist and uh, my job is to hunt down celebrities and get autographs. So previously I worked at a national magazine um, and now I'm doing my own thing where I'm accessible to more things. I'm also on radio in Cape Town and um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing quite a bit. There may be hints for possible TV stuff which I'm trying to get into in the future so that is still on the card. But yeah, right now my website is still up and I'm blogging really to see every single day. Now tell me you have taken autographs. Of course I got that way back in 2007. <laughs> he, does, he does actually have it and he did get it years ago. <laughs> and in fact he walked up to me and said, please can I get your autograph? And I looked at him and I said, why? <laughs> Who are you? With this? Who are you, you weirdo? <laughs> and he said to me, I just have a feeling about you. And he was right. <laughs> Same. Like you spot the talent a mile away. Now tell me about the experience in Tropica Island. This is taking place every Sunday, ETV? Yeah, ETV time is every Sunday on ETV at 6 but yeah, We shot that, that's when I shot that in uh, late October, early November. I actually get so confused, but we shot for about two weeks. Um, and there was an episode every single day last year in Thailand, and it was amazing. And I mean, it's now going to be episode 6 on this coming Sunday. So, um, and there's about, I think, two or three more left. So it's, it's literally going down to the wire now. Unfortunately, you know, Tatum's still not in the game anymore. Uh, uh, she was my number one alliance uh, um, last week Sunday. <laughs> so uh, people will see me trying to prove my own point that I'm worthy of staying in the game. And I'm sure they'll be interested to see what I'm up to next and what alliances I get into to make sure that I'm around for the end. Now some of the celebrities, it's Bonang, Jayar, Michael, Sir, Pearl, Vega. Mm -hmm. Then we also have Snapko, uh -huh. Papa, Papa, Papa. Pa, pa. That's Francois, isn't it? Francois, yeah. Yeah, Luis Ogola. He's also on TV, presented. And then, yeah. Kamin Bao. Yeah, and then you yeah, have Tatum. Yeah, no, obviously, uh, when I found out that Tatum was going to be in it, and I found out I was going to be in it, and I was so excited because I actually knew Tatum from before the show, but um, I thought if there were two people that could go all the way to the end, it had to be us two, like no one else. So it was interesting to play with each other and also against each other for a million but I was thinking uh, if we made it fine I would have split the money with her <laughs> I would have made sure I would, no, I would have I promise you I would have split the money with her um, so I mean obviously that's yet to be seen so you never know what's going to be happening now right, there but might be a twist there might be a twist so you never know but um, the celebrities on the whole I had some sort of interaction with the other people other than that which I knew well before um, 
But I mean, once you're playing in a game, you see different personalities come out as well. And I mean, everyone's competitive for a million right item. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely. But um, yeah, I think one of the sweetest people out of the show, which I know Tatum can testify as well, is Snorkel. I mean, getting to know him on a personal level, and he's just so grounded, so humble, and so down to earth. Mm, a um, really, really lovely person, salt of the earth. And he's got a good heart as well, you know, because a lot of people out there, like Kanye and Bonang, and even JR. They, they're good for camera. They know how to entertain. They know what to say to get the TV attention and people entertained. And they definitely know how to rub you up the wrong way to get your personality out there and going. <laughs> which is what I experienced. <laughs> so yeah, we had a fair bit of interaction. And the players who came from different uh, walks of life. So I interacted with them. I mean, because um, I'm one of the players. And so I got to know them as well. But I mean, what stood me in good stead was that I could get to know the players. But I also had interactions with the slaves because I kind of interacted with them prior to the show. And I'd like to just add in there, I have to decide, well, I mean, Clayton is now hardly one of the plebs, you have to agree. <laughs> yeah, he's hardly a pleb, but we're glad that the pleb title got him onto the show. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Now, moving over to you, Tatum. You've been Miss South Africa 2008, then you represented the country in Miss Universe, yes. and Miss World 2009, tell me about that. Wonderful, wonderful experience. Such a blessing to have the title of Miss South Africa and actually a dream come true as well. And also to stand on an international platform and represent your country was amazing. But even more amazing was being able to place in both pageants. Um, I think that it's been a very, very long time, more than a decade, where we've had a Miss South Africa who's placed in the top ten for both. So I came seventh in Miss Universe and third in Miss World, so that was amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. And now besides the beauty, because you are beautiful, <laughs> as Clayton mentioned, and also now I see that you're really beautiful. You, okay, the body and everything. <laughs> Stop <also> gushing. <laughs> oh Stop it, stop it, no, don't. <laughs> you may just give an ego there, come on. Clayton's <laughs> <Like it. laughs> not like that. <laughs> now you studied psychology. Yes. So it's not only the body, it's the brain as well. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. You I still do it? I did study psychology um, and I graduated in 2006 and then I, I moved to London to model there internationally. Um, really, really enjoy people and the dynamics of people and that's why I studied psychology. But I ended up doing a double major, so I majored in, in industrial psychology and clinical psychology. Mm -hmm. And within the year that I won Miss South Africa, before I won, I was practicing industrial psychology as a consultant. Now, tell me, uh, what's your beauty secret? <laughs> My beauty secret yeah, is definitely getting eight hours of sleep because um, I'm a very quiet morning person. I don't like noise in the morning. I, I take a while to get up. So, eight hours sleep, um, six glasses of water a day. I know you sh they say you should drink eight, but I try and drink six. Um, and, yeah, lots of hydration, eat healthily. Um, but also just having a healthy lifestyle and surrounding yourself with positive people because you can do all those things but have a negative attitude or be surrounded by negative mm. people and they rub off on you and you can tell, you can see it in your demeanor, in your skin, in everything about you. So walk tall, surround yourself with positivity and gratitude does wonders. Now beautiful lady, tell me what's a lesson that you've learned in life? Um, you know what, I think that it's probably something that I knew before I won Miss South Africa, but going through that entire process of meeting people as Miss South Africa, representing your country, and constantly putting yourself out there, I've really learned that there is nothing that I cannot do. Because you really are thrown into the deep end and asked um, to do things, deliver speeches off the drop of a hat, and you haven't even prepared anything. You have everything you need to succeed within you. It's already there. You just need to nurture those things by the people you surround yourself and experiences that you go through. And what's your future plans? Future plans at the moment, um, I, I was formerly with Top Billing, working on doing some more TV stuff. Um, but I'm doing a huge corporate project at the moment, which is going to manage CSIs throughout Africa. Um, very, very exciting. And it's also going to be great to put some of my industrial psychology to use. Now, the last question, what are you doing in Port Elizabeth, both of you? <laughs> we just love it here. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing, the friendliest people. But besides that, we're here for a very, very worthy cause. It's the Algoa Bay Council of the Aged Charity Golf Day today. And Clayton and I are going to be trying our hands at some golf. 
I haven't been on the course for about a year. Clayton mm. isn't very good at golf, but it's fine. I'm going to teach him. Uh, Today I'm going to give him a good <laughs> lesson. <laughs> You're speaking with such authority. You see there. <laughs> I already feel intimidated. Now, Tim, I have to say everything of the best for you. And it was really it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you too. And then you, Clayton. Can't wait to see you once again. Thank you very much. Everything of the best for Tropica Island as well. And I hope that you come home with a... The money. We yeah, hope so. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And share the money with me this time. <laughs> 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 Everything of the best and enjoy Port Elizabeth. Thanks, guys. Cool, man. Anything or anyone that you would like to say hi while you're on the air? Oh, actually, you know what, I have, actually have not seen my family since I've been here yesterday, I just jetted in. So if my family and friends and whoever else from P is listening, just sending a shout out. I can't wait to see you guys, I'm still here for the rest of the weekend, so I will bump into everybody. And um, yeah, it's just good to be home and thank you so much for the support for Tropica and all the Facebook stuff that I've been receiving and via Twitter as well. It's really been amazing I I feel it's so good that I'm doing the proud, yeah. And you? Absolutely great to be out here. Um, and yeah, if you're a fan, drop me a line. It's Tatum. It's at Tatum Kesha for Twitter or Tatum Kesha on Facebook. And you can also find Clay um, on Twitter <laughs> as well. It's at Clay Mora or ClaytonMora.com. Yeah, www.claytonmora.com. Yeah, that's the website. Okay, now so. makes it. No, I don't do mix it. <laughs> but <laughs> we do do Facebook and Twitter. And Twitter, yeah. Everything on the face. See you guys. Thanks See you so later. much. See you. Bye bye.